friends and welcome back to my channel. We are starting a vlog today. Is today Tuesday? No one, I never know. I'm so bad at knowing the days of the week. Today is Tuesday. It feels like it should be a Monday. I am lit tired. Today was a really great like catch up day for me. I just worked from home, had a doctor's appointment. We cleaned our whole apartment. I did a ton of laundry. I just got done at the gym. I did just a 20 minute Peloton ride, but I just wanted to do something quick. But it was so good just to like, why are you crying? Why do you cry all the time? Ugh. You learned from the best. I don't cry all the time. You don't even know the last time I cried. I haven't logged in the cry journal. It's been a long time. Anyways, it was a good day just to like catch up and get things done. Now you're happy, this is all you wanted. Anywho, I'm about to make dinner. I am very excited. We've been trying a bunch of different restaurants recently, but at the end of the day, I love cooking. I love cooking so much. It just makes me so happy. So you guys, I landed one of my dream partnerships and I have been wanting to work with this brand for so long. I have put their items in my cart probably 10 times being like, all right, today I'm gonna pull the trigger. And then I was just like, no. Hold out, one day they'll wanna work with you. Today was that day. So before I even show you, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who have been supporting me, especially like some of you have been following me since I was so small and I wouldn't have these opportunities if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you so much. Today, I got the opportunity to work with Caraway and I'm so pumped. So I've been high key obsessed with Caraway for a couple of reasons. Number one, they have, what? I can't do it. I don't understand. How do they want me to open it? Okay, okay, we got it. Wow, that was harder than I expected. Anyways, I've been super obsessed with Caraway because they have super cute colors, like every single color. I had the hardest time picking because I loved them all, but they're just really unique. It's also like the perfect set. It has everything you need, but it doesn't have like an excess amount. And it comes with organizers at no additional cost. So if you are living in an apartment, this is amazing because I just have to show you my current pots and pans compartment. You'll see. This is a dumpster fire. It is just absolute chaos in there. It's about to be beautiful. They're also non-stick and non-toxic. So not only is it a great investment for the aesthetics, but it's also just really good for you health-wise. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. What color I got the paracotta. So this is the lid organizer. So this gets hung like on the inside of a door. Oh my God, they are so beautiful. I am obsessed with this color. Oh, it's perfect. I love them. I love them so much. I can't wait to use them. Oh, and these little heat trivets. So I can put them on my counter. Well, that's nifty. All right, and then these are the organizers and they magnetize together. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put everything away now. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to my new beautiful pots and pans organization. I love it. I'm so happy. And now we cook dinner. All right, so I am going to test these bad boys out tonight. And by these bad boys, I am doing a one pan meal, so it should be pretty easy. I'm gonna be making salmon and crispy rice with, I have some seaweed salad and some cucumber and jalapeno and some scallions, some other fun stuff that we'll like top it with. But first off, I'm just gonna cook the salmon really quick, put that off to the side and then make the crispy rice. And then we'll add all the toppings. Easy and delicious. much cuter in bowl form, but I did it in a plate. But it looks delicious and I am very excited. And that pan is a freaking thing of beauty because it was super easy to use. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm going to watch Euphoria. I'm going to eat this massive plate of food. Bye. Hello, I am vlogging on the large camera and it's very hard to do if this thing is heavy. We are going on a date night. I'm very excited. We are going to a restaurant a bunch of my friends have been and I cannot wait to go. It's called Holu or Hol Holu Grill. I'll find out tonight. But it is an Asian style steakhouse where they grill everything in front of you. It looks like Japanese mixed with Korean barbecue because they cook everything in front of you, but it's really known for like the Wagyu beef. One of my friends is gone and I just can't wait. It, when I saw her pictures and videos of it, I was like, I need to eat that and I need it in my soul right now. In your soul? I need it in my soul. Also, look at this fun top. It's all mesh and 
got these fun sleeves and a turtleneck. I feel kind of fun. So I'm gonna put on my boots and go freeze my little titties off because it's two degrees outside. Woo! All right, let's go. to a huge mall and Alex was like let's go check out the mall. There is the biggest Asian grocery store I've ever been to. This place is huge. There's so much of everything. I'm in heaven. You had no idea? I had no idea. I'm so excited. I'm getting so many things. Show us some of the things. I have like four or five different types of noodles, one type of ramen. We got rice over wraps. We're trying to find soup base. I'm gonna get back to it. Dinner was flippin' amazing. Honestly, one of the best meals I've ever had in Chicago. What are your thoughts? Come here, come share. They yeah. want to hear from me? Yeah. A little old me? Yeah, you. Well, Holu brought out all the stops. That was unfreaking believable. It was literally one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. I yeah. mean, it was, really was. And if you go, you gotta get Leo the server. Was that his name? Leo? Yeah. yeah, he was. Homeboy was amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It was a pretty stinking incredible experience. Um, and then, like I said, we left. And there was this grocery store at 88 Marketplace that I had no idea was even there. That was a fun little surprise. I've now changed into sweats, as one does after an extremely delicious meal. I wanted to show you my grocery haul of all of my fun Asian products because I think it was so exciting. Here we go. We got this ramen. Atogi is the brand. I've never heard of this one, but it's super spicy. I got some sweet potato noodles. These are like a glass noodle. These are dried shiitake mushrooms. I don't know how, like, I, I rehydrate them, but I can't read at all how I do so. Alex got a big old bag of wasabi peas. He loves wasabi peas. I got a thing of matcha green tea pocky. Don't try pocky? Yeah. Isn't it candy? No, it's like a little cookie. It's like a little dip, but they're not sweet cookies. It's more like a biscuit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's just like a little, a little You tea. put them in tea? I mean, you could. Seems like something that you put in tea. Honestly, these are tastier than I remember them being. I don't know that I've had the matcha one so far though. I like that, I do. I then got a container of Memi. This is noodle soup base. Are they individual bags? <laughs> They're such small bags. His wasabi peas come in the tiniest bags. You're gonna have so many bags. A bag of bags. That's so funny. Some noodles. I got two different kinds. These ones are Japanese wheat noodles, but they come in these little like packs. So you eat them like by the pack. And then these just looked cool, and these came in the little bundles as well, and these are green tea noodles. I also got some rice paper. I really love using these. A serving size is six sheets. I then got ultra diet tea. If you haven't seen this before, this is essentially poop tea. It makes you poop, and that's all you need to know about that. We got a big old thing of matcha unsweetened green tea. These There were so many types, and they all just looked so good, but we grabbed this one to drink. We're gonna probably drink that whole thing tomorrow. And then I don't have like many little sauce bowls. I just have two, and they're not super small. So these were 69 cents, so I got these little sauce bowls for dipping. I grabbed Alex this spicy udon. I think it's spicy. Oh yeah, it says extreme spicy, but some spicy udon. And then we also grabbed some premium red oolong Tea. Most exciting of them all, we got Millennium Eggs. These are preserved duck eggs and they look just as gross as they look on the packaging. It says, happy duck, healthy egg. You wanna come tell them about your challenge? All right, go ahead and tell them. Okay, so growing up, I was a super picky eater. At one point in college, I just decided to no longer be a picky eater and I'll eat anything in the world. There's nothing that I don't like. So I have an ongoing challenge that there does not exist a menu item in Chicago that I won't eat. And if you can find one, I'll give you a hundred bucks. And when I tell people this, the most common thing they bring up is this. Those or the eggs that have the chicken still in them. Some sort of disgusting preserved Asian egg. delicacy, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And I've never had them. 
and I bet you I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I don't know. If they, they sell it, like people pay money to eat it, right? <laughs> How, like, there's, if, if people actually eat it, I'm going to like it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. It looks green. Yeah, it's because it's a hundred year old egg. Why would it be a hundred years old and be a millennium egg? They call egg? them... Shouldn't it be the centennial egg? What does millennium mean? It's a thousand years. It's a thousand year old egg. <laughs> oh, they stink. Guess what? Yeah, I'm just kidding, there's yeah. nest mail. At least not yet, they're vacuum sealed in here. All right, get to it. It's stinky? No, I mean, it smells like an egg. It's way darker. The shell's like, the shell's like green, but like a white shell that was like dyed green. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. It's so shiny. All right. I got the shell off. Should I just take a big bite? Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. Ready? It tastes fine. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Honestly, like you, you would eat this and be like, that's oh, not bad. Uh-uh. Yeah. I'm not picky, but a long shot, but that texture looks heinous. It's very jelly. Yeah. It's honestly not that different than a normal egg. The, the the white part of the egg is jellier and black. Yeah, no, I'm out. No, thank you. Absolutely not. What is the yolk like? Just take a bite. No, no. Just take like a little bite of that. No, no, no. Just tell me what it's like. It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, so you're not gonna tell me what it's like? It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Your teeth are green. The yolk is like, like how I'd imagine if like you left a hard boiled egg out for a long time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. That texture of it breaking in your mouth was the worst. It snapped. Uh, I'm out. No thank you. No thank you. I gotta finish it. Yeah, I mean, I don't, we don't waste it in this family. I don't know what else you'd do with it. I mean, like, I don't think I'm gonna eat the rest of them. But, but I'm gonna make our friends that come over try them. Really? Yeah, Grady and Carlo, absolutely. Enjoy an egg. Well, well that's that. Cheers. Cheers. I'll check in tomorrow. Good morning. We are now up in like Lakeview South Uptown area. Wrigleyville-esque, I don't know. It all kind of blends together up here. But there is a new apartment complex that just opened. So we are doing a broker store. This is always super fun because we get to see apartments like before people live in them and like when they're brand new. So I'm here with my whole team and we're up here checking out some new apartments. So I wanted to take you along. building and this is a one bed plus den. It's got this huge den at the front. I'm going to show you that last, but let's start over at the front because I feel like the best part of apartments are always like by the window, but people always start apartment tours right where you come in. So this is the kitchen. I am obsessed with this kitchen island. I love the industrial look of it and I really love when buildings mix like different textures and colors. So I love that this doesn't actually match the cabinets and stuff, but it all kind of is really cohesive and it's just like such a great countertop space to be able to work with and you can pull up stools so you don't need a table. You got your dishwasher, garbage disposal which so many apartments don't have full-size fridge and freezer giant windows these are super nice and i love that it's like a corner so you do get windows on both sides oh you can literally see like the wrigley field uh stadium lights from here the bedroom in this apartment is like a lofted bedroom so it doesn't actually have like a window but it has like this partition wall these are super common in chicago if you haven't seen these before but it is over here so this is your bedroom. It's a really big space. One of my favorite things is my arms are the same size as a queen size bed. So you can see you have plenty of space. Like you could go on this wall. You can go on this wall. You can fit a king in here pretty easily. Um, but you could definitely do like bed, dresser. You could add a desk in here, even though I probably want my desk out there. But big closet in here as well. Full size front loading washer and dryer. Bathroom's super nice, it's super spacious in here and you have a tub and shower combo with the white subway backsplash, so that's super pretty. Hey yo, it's us, here hey we are. We out here. You have a coat closet when you first come in, then that's pretty tall, so you can store a lot of stuff in there. I would do storage tabs up top. And then this is the den, this is huge. Why would you put your desk in your bedroom when you have this massive den? But this would definitely be like a fully enclosed office area. Like you really wouldn't need any other space. I had to take my time to talk to you. Face to face. Wow. I really look how I feel right now. I am extremely hungover. Party too hard. 
I had sake bombs and my whole body hurts. But <laughs> we had friends in town so last night we went to a BYOB sushi place and had sake bombs. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. I saw a rat in a bar. It was really gross. But now I'm hungover. And this morning, Alex and I are going to the Dime in Lincoln Park for brunch. They invited me to come out, so we're going out with some friends and they're gonna Give us some brunch, we're gonna try it out. I'm very excited, but I'm so wildly hungover. I need a Bloody Mary, possibly a virgin one. Also possibly not a virgin one. And maybe chicken wings. Let's go. Kai, what are you guys doing right now? We're shooting some content and, and giving kisses. <laughs> Actually gave me kisses. Yeah, because someone didn't want to take for the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big lipstick wearer. Yes, back. All right, let's go do this. <laughs> Shoot number two, baby. Shoot yeah. number two. Hey guys. Okay. I gotta check in with you. We are really tired today. This morning was an exciting morning because if you've been following, I've talked about this before, but I used to work for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. During my time at Make-A-Wish, I worked with all sorts of different wish kids. I got to actually like be on wishes, which was really neat. And Be The Match connects patients that are in need of bone marrow or stem cell transplants with donors who are able to donate. So when I was working at Make-A-Wish, I signed up for it because we had so many wish kids that were saved from donors on Be The Match. And I signed up for it in 2018 and had never really heard anything. It's one of those things where I was like, if they ever need me, I'm here, but like, what's the chances I'll get called? And last week, the organization reached out and said that there's a 51 year old woman with leukemia who is a match for me. And so they wanted to see if I was still able to donate. So I had to do like a 40 minute questionnaire, which I was all good to go. And so today was step one of me like getting my testing done to see if I'm actually the right person. I think how it works is they kind of reach out to a couple different people who would qualify. And then after like all of the blood drawing and tests and stuff, they see who's like the best fit. So Alex and I went this morning into the loop to get my blood drawn to be able to do that first round of testing. So we vlogged that. I'll go ahead and play those clips now. posted about this on my Instagram too, but I wanted to let you guys know if you haven't heard of Beam the Match before, it's like a really great organization. Donating bone marrow and stem cells is not a super easy procedure. For bone marrow, you have to be put under and there's like a recoup time of like five days. But I was talking to Alex about this and I was like, how lucky am I that that is all I would have to go through to save someone's life? Because having leukemia is far worse. Like hurts a lot worse, lasts a lot longer. Like I'm lucky that that is all I would have to do and I can save someone. So I wanted to start vlogging it now because I kind of want to be able to take you guys through the journey with me. And if I actually end up being the person chosen, I want to be able to like share this process and everything and kind of bring awareness to it because it's something not a lot of people know about and you can literally save someone. So that was that. After we were done with the blood drawing, which also was so quick and easy. And then we just popped over to Ashley's packages keep getting sent to me at my old apartment, which is a pain in the butt. It's fine right now because Ashley still lives there, but she's moving and I don't know what to do because like I keep telling these companies that I'm moving and they keep sending stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick little unboxing right now. So fun fact, Prada accidentally sent like all of their like shopping bags to Ashley's apartment instead of to their store. So Ashley has like a thousand of these Prada bags. It's something stupid. If you want some, hit her up because she's gonna throw them away. But I just used a couple to carry these home. All right, we are gonna start over here. This box is from Vital Proteins. I need them to update my address. I think I know what this is because they did reach out and they were like, do you want any other products? And I was like, hell yeah, because I've run out of some of my favorite Vital Protein products. Then take it on. Nice, it is. Okay, sick. Oh, cool. And there's like other fun things in here too. Oh my God, I now have so much. This is, I now have like three of these tubs on deck, which is great because I do put it in my coffee every single day. But this is the plain collagen. This is the one that tastes like nothing. So I add it into my coffee with my oat milk. It's great. This matcha is my favorite. Of all of the Vital Proteins products, this is delicious. It tastes like a fancy matcha latte. And then the other one that I asked them for, which I've had before as well is their blueberry moon milk. This is an interesting flavor. I know some people haven't loved it, 
I really like this. It has magnesium in it and melatonin. And I usually do about a half serving just because I am pretty susceptible to melatonin, but I sleep so well after having this. And so it's like a fun little nighttime latte to drink when I'm like wanting to unwind and have like a really peaceful night's sleep. And I didn't ask for these, but they sent me over some Vital Proteins Strawberry Beauty Gummies. Okay, Vital Proteins does gummies right. These are really good. These are really good. Yay, thank you Vital Protein. <sighs> now these, I'm very excited for. I just, I have so many questions. So the dog food company, Ollie, sponsored Louie and they've been sending him food, which is amazing. He loves it. Anyways, they sent me an email this week and we we're like, hey, we're sending you a package from Weston Willow. Surprise, hope you love it. I looked up Weston Willow. They do dog portraits. <laughs> That's all I know, they do dog portraits. So I got one, but two packages from Weston Willow. So I'm like, are these two portraits of Louie? Okay, we'll start with the larger one. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> wow. Look at him. He's adorable. It's really, really cute. I don't even know what picture they got of him. Hi, it's you. Good boy, it's you. He's like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So is this just a smaller one? Here, you hold this. Oh my God, it's so cute though. I can't. It looks just like him. It looks just like, it's really good. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know we keep saying your name, so you keep thinking these are for you but they are of you, not for you. He's like, oh, you can see him. He's on my left. Oh, this one's colored. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Oh my God, it's so cute. That's Ooh. so amazing. This is my favorite. Wow, that's a great one. Oh my gosh. What a fun surprise. He's so adorable. Well, I can't wait to figure out where those are gonna go in our house. Those are amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay, anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. This has been fun. I love you all. If you have any questions about anything in this vlog, as always, comment down below. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Louis, chill, sir. And as always, if you haven't, please hit that big red subscribe button. I post a video every three days. I have so many like really kick-ass videos coming out for you. If you haven't seen my last one that we posted the other day about the CTA, highly recommend you watch because our quality is just, it's so good. I love that video so much. So keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.